Warning. Copyright Notice. This video is protected by copyright laws. Reproduction and distribution or transmitted in any form or by any means, including editing, recording, or other electronic or mechanical methods, without the prior written permission of the publisher, are prohibited. This tutorial is about on how to make a solar railings. Step 1. Buy a metal furring. You can buy the metal furring at City Hardware. Remember, we don't intend to advertise the store name, we're only giving direction where we buy the raw materials. Buy this product at www.onesolarx.com slash shop. Step 2. Cut and paint. Cut the metal furring into 61 inches. Enough for two solar panels of 130 watts each. After cutting the metal furring, you have to paint in order to protect from rust caused by rain. Step 3. Make a wood support for the metal furring. In this project we're using 3 4th plywood, but you can use any wood or any material to make metal furring more rigid and stable. Step 4. Installing the wood support on metal furring. Find the center and mark it with a pencil.
Step 5. Fitting the solar panel into the metal furring. Materials needed. This is our plan. See the photo. Now let's start. First find the center of the metal furring. Take two pieces of end clamp and position it on the center. Mark it where you want to drill a hole. Measure the length of your solar panel. And then when you get the measurement, mark the length to your metal furring from the center to the right end. Mark it where you want to drill a hole. Step 6. Drilling holes for the bolt to hold solar railings and roof wood support. Just make a mark near to the center. And also near to the edge. Continue to do this on the other side and the rest of the solar railings.
Step 7. Applying adhesive to the bolt heads. We need to apply an adhesive to the bolt heads, so that every time we take out the hex nut, the bolt head will stay in place. Let it dry for at least 5 hours. Step 8. Preparing the solar panel. If you're planning to put the solar panel on the roof, if the surfaces are sloped, you need to put a stopper on your solar panel. Materials needed. Hand drill, wood screw, and square wood. Mark the area where you want to put the stopper. In this project the distance is 36 centimeters from the frame. This is our homemade solar railings. Now let us try to fit into our solar panel. If everything is set, let us now screw the stopper into the mark place. Repeat the process. Step 9. Solar Railing Installation Arrange the solar railings in this position, with 77 cm distance from each other. These are the bolts that holds our solar railings. Tighten the bolt to secure the railings. Our railings is now secured. But don't forget to cover the holes with roof sealant to prevent water dripping from rain. In here, we have already installed our first solar panel. Now let us install our second solar panel. The same process we install our first solar panel. Slide the solar panel to the center. This is our stopper to prevent our solar panel sliding all the way down. Install the end clamp to lock up the solar panel.
Step 10. Connecting the PV junction box wire to the charge controller. This is the MC4 solar PV branch connector. We have to connect the solar panel in parallel connection. Now let us connect the joined parallel solar panel to the charge controller. This is our finished homemade solar railings. If you have any questions please feel free to contact us. You can visit us at www.onesolarx.com Our Facebook at facebook.com slash onesolarx Believe it in yourself, find a way to start. And be creative, understand the basic, and you can do better what you see in this tutorial. And share your knowledge so that other will be blessed by your talents. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to share. May God bless you with wisdom. One Solarx. Build your solar energy.